Hi, I'm Carlos, and I'm gonna teach you how I take notes for my midterm using Notability. First, I wanna showcase how I use the audio feature with my lecture. On the left side of my screen, I have my lecture open, and on the right side, I have the lecture slides. So first, I start rolling. Then I begin my lecture. Once I start playing, I can start listening to what the professor's saying. Even uh, more electron withdrawing than a carbon, but remember, acetylene has a pKa of 25 because this is an sp carbon. Well, this is an sp carbon also, but it's got an electron withdrawing nitrogen group on there, so its pKa is going to be even lower than 25. That's very powerful. So this particular reaction has goes to equilibrium, has an equilibrium constant. That's what's being shown here. So after I'm done watching the part that I need from my lecture, I close it out and I use the multi-note feature that's offered in Notability. So here I'll open up the final template for my review and I have it open here on my right side and on the left side I have the notes that I took during lecture. The next thing I do is that I look at the templates and try and find the one that will fit the best for this note. The templates can be found at the top right in these three dots and you go to templates and there's a lot of options to choose from. The one that I'm gonna use for this lecture is gonna be the grid. You could also change the um, grid spacing, but for this one, I'm gonna keep it at three. I apply it and it applies to my note. First, I like to start off by copying the lecture. You could also just take a picture and insert it into your note, but for memory purposes, I like to do it myself. I can also use the favorite tools here at the bottom to switch easily between all my markers and colors that I selected for this note. Notability also has the perfect shapes tool that I can use to make perfect arrows for my diagrams. So in this case, when I'm going from a reaction to another, I go like this and it should snap perfectly into place. Notability also works great for diagram drawing and chemistry because a lot of the times you would have to remake these but I can use the lasso feature to copy and paste it and just edit what I need to. After I'm done copying from the slides, I now look at some of the stickers that I can use to try and find what I left off behind in the lecture. So here are the functional sticky notes, which I like to use a lot. In this case, I'm gonna use this one right here, and I'm using it because it's gonna allow me to very concisely write down everything that I jotted down in the lecture and allow me to see it very clearly and stand out in the note. Once I add it, I resize it to what I think would be adequate for this note. So in this case, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to write a good amount, so I'll make it kind of big. I'm now going to use the audio playback feature. In order to use it, make sure that your tool that's selected is the touch and you can click on the part of the lecture that will be synced with the audio of your professor. So in this case, I'm gonna start off here, so I touch on it. Suddenly has a PK of 25 because this is an S. And I can hear my professor talking about exactly what I want to in this part. So. Suddenly has a PK of 25 because this is an SP carbon. Well, this is an SP carbon also, but it's got an electron withdrawing nitrogen group on there, so its PK is gonna be even lower than 25. A lot of the times it's very difficult to catch everything on the first listen because professors speak really fast. So I will use the audio playback tool in order to go back and make sure that I picked up everything. So for example, on my review note, all that I had written was that nitrogen is very important because it's electron withdrawing. But I forgot to write this part where I wrote about that most reactions do not go to equilibrium. So in that case, I'm gonna click back to that point of the note and see what my professor said so that I can write it down on my midterm review note. First one of them, this is another one. And in fact, a lot of carbonyl reactions actually do go to equilibrium at 37 degrees. Equilibrium is a very special property because once... So in this part, I caught that not only do some not go to equilibrium, but if they're at 37 degrees, then they do. So I'll write that down on my note, on my midterm review note here on the right. 
So once I'm done with my lecture notes, I close them off and now I have my completed midterm notes. So there you have it. This is how I use Notability to study for my midterm.